What's up, YouTube? Zero Mike MX here. Okay. So, this is a weird way to record, right? You guys usually see it on the computer or through this little device right here. Well, this little device decided to eat all my battery up. So, that's in my room charging right now. So, I got to use the camera for now. I don't like to that often because the quality is generally poor. And I like quality, you know, content. And I'm sure all you guys appreciate quality content too, am I right? I mean, this thing takes an hour just to load, like, a two-minute video. So, I hope you guys appreciate that. It took overnight for me to upload my Avison Restored preview, or, sorry, recap. And that is all night, you know? I mean, you <laughs> can't really do much on YouTube at that point. Anyway, this video is about this, okay, and about the channel's purpose. I'm going to make the channel's purpose as brief as possible. I just want to let you guys know that my channel is meant for card games. There are dozens upon dozens of card games out there that you can play. There is Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic! Pokemon, Cardfight Vanguard, Monsuno, that Rhea Geki or whatever it is, I don't even remember its name, but it's it's out there. I see it at Toys R Us, and I see it at Walmart, I see different areas. I mean, there's so many different card games to the point of where me and my friend are working on one to have fun with and are going to try and pilot it at my local establishment. Okay, so... If it goes well, I'll let you guys know, give you a heads up, and maybe hopefully we can take it to some kind of, what is it, the, the gaming con. I don't remember its name off the top of my head, but they have them out like in Pittsburgh and stuff like that. So maybe, just maybe, my friend will be motivated for this one with his card program maker. And we'll actually get them done. But, yeah. If you guys are going to unsub or just, like, move me, whatever it is. Because you guys keep seeing Cardfight Vanguard for a while. Or Magic the Gathering for a while. Or Yu-Gi-Oh! for a while. Alright? You guys will miss the other content that I give. In which case, if you don't care about my Yu-Gi-Oh! content enough, or my Magic content, or whatever card game content enough, then, then feel free to unsub. Go get your sources from other people that are more into what you want to play. But this channel is for my hobby, which is card games in general. So if I play Monsuno, Digimon, whatever, pick up a fifth card game somewhere I'll feature it on the channel I'll let you guys know what I think of it and who knows maybe Monsuno could be the new Yu-Gi-Oh maybe that I Geki or whatever it is might be the new um, Pokemon you know you know you never know you won't know until you guys try it out and I love card games so I suggest playing as many as you can to learn different elements about each game and just enjoy playing each one. I mean, when you get tired of one, you can pick up and play another. It's kind of cool having that different card games for that reason. Alright, now, to the deck profile. Yeah, I know it's four minutes in, but I had to clear up the purpose of the channel, guys, because people have been badgering me about it lately, so I wanted to get that out of the way. And we'll end with the deck profile here. Alright guys, sound good? Okay, three Insector Dragonflies. This guy is really good. I shouldn't have to explain why he's good. Okay, three Centipede. Duh. I mean, it's Insectors. You run the, the nine main cards. Insector Hornets. One Gigamantis. 
Oh, and before anyone asks where the tour guides are, probably if you own them in your pockets, in your collections, send them to me and then I'll have them to feature. I don't have 300 bucks to drop on a playset because they're not yet reprinted. Okay, three effect veiler. Remember guys, I am a budget player. That's why you, most of you I think originally signed up for my channel as a matter of fact. Two card trooper. Doris Emissary of uh, Darkness. Yep, you guys know Doris. Mystic Tomato. Yes, a one of because it can help. I can search some of my dark targets. So why not? Like these guys. Spirit Reaper. And Sangyan. Then Black Luster Soldier. Because you can use them and I think I was citing Thunder King Ryos and stuff like that, so you know, I can side into Ryo and make him way more playable. Alright, spell cards. I don't have Insect Caliber because like I said, everyone in my area quit. So I mean there's not too much I can do. Heavy Storm. Three Typhoon. Double duality. And then Dark Hole Reborn and Foolish Burial. Pretty self explanatory so far, I mean. Insectors is a pretty stock deck. I mean, it, it has what it has in it, it has its engine. You can generally splash what's useful with it. And then play the spells and traps as you see fit that fit that engine. So it's a pretty tight deck, so to speak. Okay, three call of the haunted because it's really awesome to get you guys back from Cart Trooper. Double compulsory because synchros and exceeds need to die sometimes. A warning for things that have negation on them and you really, really, really don't want them on the field. Oh, and Gores, you know, Gores is pretty game breaking, so you want to battle against that too. Double Torrental Tribute, because why not? Having three Dark Holes seems kind of good in a deck. Pseudo Dark Holes. And then Judgment and Mirror Force. So that's my budget in Zector deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's the Yu Gi Oh! content. Like I said, camera. Why you no work? So, what could you do? Alright, that's all guys, and Zero Magnum Mix Up. Peace, YouTube.